Hello again there folks, uh, this is Chris at CES in Las Vegas Speaking and we're having it. What, what's the, what's the problem? Where are you Officer? from? Are you Where are you I'm from? from? I'm from England. You're English. Is that a problem? Yeah, yeah. yeah. you're in the immigration. Come on, are, are you with that? Are you legal to be here? Am I in trouble? Okay, that's it. You're going to frisk me? Yes. <laughs> So here I am on the uh, Samsung stand with uh, Jermaine and we're going to look at a brand new Blu-ray player. Uh, lots of new Blu-ray players this year, but this is a little bit different, so maybe you can tell us about it. It actually is a little bit different. Um, we're actually standing next to the BDP 4600 and we've added a couple new features. The first is this ultra thin, because we've got a new line of ultra thin TVs this year and we need a matching accessory to go along with them. It's got our TOC design to match all our TOC design televisions, but more importantly it's all about connectivity this year. It's not just about playing Blu-ray high definition discs, but it's about additional content. On the 4600, what you're going to see is the addition of Pandora Music Service and Netflix Streaming Service, but more importantly, a brand new feature from Samsung Electronics that we call Internet at Blu-ray. When you connect over a Wi-Fi network, we're actually going to allow you to pull PC files, including photos, videos, and music, from your home theater PC over a wireless network and display all that media directly on your television. And I guess for the, the purists out there who want the best in picture quality and sound quality, this has everything built into it? Yeah, everything's built in there. All the new audio co codecs are in there for all the audio files out there. Dolby True HD, uh, DTS HD is in there as well. But more importantly, it's going to still have that Blu-ray 1080p high definition quality that everyone's come to expect when we talk about Blu-ray. And it's, it's, it's a great little product. You can hang it on the wall. Um, yeah. So that won't affect the disc mechanism at all with it being at different angles? Actually it won't. Um, the, what we've actually done this year is we've actually added a horizontal slot loading tray on the side. So you can actually mount it closer underneath your TV or to the left or to the right and the slot actually loads from the side but it's not going to affect the playback of the Blu-ray disc at all. So we move on from ultra slim Blu-ray players and we're now standing in front of a, an ultra slim LED TV so maybe you can tell us about this one. Well, what you're looking at is going to be our new Luxia line. And our Luxia line uses LED lights instead of a traditional backlighting system. That allows us to get that ultra slim 1.19 inch frame that we're actually standing in front of. It's also going to allow us to do a couple different things, which is imply a new wall mounting solution. The Luxia line will have a special photo frame wall mount kit that will allow you to take it from a 4 to 5 wall mount bracket solution with 4 to 5 holes to a single wall mount, single hole, and it's going to hang exactly like a photo frame wire strength behind it where it will support up to 55 inches so you'll be able to get it right up against the wall and it'll look identical to a photo frame. Now it is very very slim, lots of technology in there, LED lighting system. Now it's not a backlight is it? The LEDs go around the side, is that right? Actually that is correct. Um, we are using edge LED lighting on here but it is ultra thin but I want to say that that we are have still all the inputs, all the tuners, everything from a full-fledged TV, including speakers. So these aren't just HD monitors we're talking about. These are HD TVs and slim HD TVs at that. So a big thing is motion handling. So what technology is built into the set to, to help with HD pictures? Well, we're standing specifically in front of the 8 series. We have three series this year, the 6000, the 7000, and the 8000. Both the 6 and the 7000 use Auto Motion Plus, which is our 120 frames per second technology. The 8000 is in fact special, and we are going to use 240 frames per second, a new Auto Motion technology from Samsung. Now, it's, uh, it's a great looking picture. L LCD in the past has suffered with contrast, so what are we talking about here with, with the contrast from the LED panel? Well, with the LED panel, not only are we getting better contrast, but we're also getting better color. LEDs tend to produce a more natural light than some of the traditional LCD units, so you're getting the best of all the LED lighting, but you're getting it in a slim package, so you are going to get deeper blacks, you are going to get a wider color range, but more importantly, like I said, it's all going to come in a thin package. Now, one of the, the drawbacks in the past with LED has been, when you, like this scene here where you get a really black image and then something really bright in the middle, you get what's called a halo effect. So what technology have you got on board to try and combat that effect? Well, Halo Effect is Halo Effect is specific to the LED backlighting system. Because this is not an actual backlighting system, but a different type of technology, there actually is no ha Halo Effect. It works very similar to the light system a traditional LCD uses, except we're using LED. So we get the best properties of LED without any Halo Effect whatsoever. And finally, looking at the set here, 
what calibration controls are you introducing this year for those enthusiasts who want to set the TV up correctly so they're getting D65 and everything else? Well, I know out there calibration has been a big deal for all those vid video files that are out there, but Samsung uses a very detailed menu settings in there that allow you to control both white level, independent color control on all three axes, and you can go in there and obviously ISF calibrate those, and we're going to get them as accurate as you possibly can. Well, it's, it's fa fascinating technology. It's a gorgeous looking set. Thank you very much for your time, Jimmy. Thank you. And widgets seem to be everywhere, but this is a little bit different on the Samsung stand. And uh, I'm with, it's Kristen. Uh, now, Kristen, you're going to take us through a quick demonstration here of just how a widget will work on Samsung's TV. So how unique is this and how, how much interactivity does the user have? Um, we're being very unique here at Samsung Electronics. Um, one of the things that makes us really unique is that everything we're doing is built into the television. You do not have to buy any external box and we're not hooked up to any type of PC. We have an Ethernet cable directly hooked up to the television. We also allow for a Wi-Fi or a wireless connection as well. Um, all I have to do is uh, press the internet function on my remote control and it pops up into my profile. It says, hello, Kristen. I have four profiles per television that allow me to have my personal settings. I can sign into my Yahoo account and have my personal preferences imported into this as well. So a lot of people may be wondering what a widget is and how does it work. So maybe you can explain that. Yes, um, a widget is essentially a shortcut that we're using to access certain functions of the internet. So we're using the widget to um, stream live internet content directly to our television. So I guess any of our users who use avforums.com, we put a widget up there, they buy one of these Samsung TVs, they'll be able to browse our website? Absolutely. Um, the AV forums would absolutely be able to have the news feeds and everything so you can see the stories and see the bloggers. Now there's, there's quite a few of our other sites already set up here. We have uh, YouTube, you've got news, weather, all this kind of thing. Is this built into the TV when someone buys it? It is. Um, you're not you don't have anything that you have to have. It will be preloaded with certain widgets, but we do have a widget gallery where you can choose to delete any widgets you don't want to have and download any ones that you would like to have. So how straightforward would this be for an end user? They buy the TV, they put the Ethernet connection in. What do they have to do then? Just press That's the button? It. That is it. It is that easy. You don't have to just subscribe to anything. It's not fee-based. This is all just free. All you have to do is give your television an internet signal. So I guess people wouldn't want another cable running to the back of the TV, so is it wireless? It is wireless. We do allow for an optional USB wireless dongle that you can purchase online at Samsung.com and that allows you to pick up a Wi-Fi signal. Well, Christian, you're getting a bit like me today. Your voice is starting to go. I think we both need to go and get a drink somewhere. Sounds good. <laughs> Right, well, thanks for joining us here at CES in Las Vegas. I think it's time I've got to go now. 